Hey, Sansers, Anthony Rose. Today we're doing some country swing, but not just country swing, the real country swing, probably broken down in a way you've never heard it before, and hopefully a way that's gonna change the way you look at it and completely make more sense. So stick around. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. Alright guys, let's talk about country swing for a second. The awesome thing about country swing is it's bringing so many new yes, dancers into country that. dancing. It is easy to dance. It's something that anybody can do. Now there are a couple problems with it up to this point. Hopefully that changes today with this video. Number one, there are people teaching that aren't teaching rhythms. They're like no count, right? It's just movements. Okay. Or they're just teaching like spins and turns. There's no footwork. There's not, it's just all these arm movements and depths. That doesn't work. We're gonna explain that why, but it doesn't work that way. The other side of the coin, you got people who are teaching what they call country swing, which is not actually country swing. It's either what's called push pull swing or East Coast swing or something like that. Country swing's a different dance, guys. So we're gonna break down what the basic steps are, what the basic rhythms are, and hopefully it makes a whole lot more sense to you. Now, if you're brand new to this channel, we teach all of the different country dances from two-step, West Coast swing, now country swing, but you're gonna notice this little button down here and it says subscribe. Now click on that button and then you become a next dancer and you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens here on the channel. So we're going to demonstrate the basic idea and then we're going to break it down. All right, guys, so the first thing we want to do is kind of demonstrate what country swing looks like. Some of you have seen it, some of you do it, some of you don't. So we just want to show you what we're talking about and kind of, and then we'll kind of break down the steps. So we just have this rotational spinny dance. So we have. It's what you're doing, making me feel like I'm falling. Very similar to a lot of the other swing dances where there's a lot of turns, there's a lot of spinning, there's a lot of that. You're eventually gonna get into a lot of dips and stuff too. Not in this video, but at some point you're gonna to wanna to do that in country swing. So let's break down the basic idea of the dance. All right guys, before we break down the basic idea of the dance, we're gonna say something. If you have danced country swing before, this is gonna seem a little weird the way that we Embrace break it. it. Embrace the weirdness, okay? Because this is, it might be a different way of looking at it, but ultimately it is going to actually make your dancing a lot better. So just keep Clear. that in mind, bear with us for just a second. All right, so now I'm gonna ask you to do something a little weird. Like, I'll, because a lot of you guys have never thought about the rhythm, we have to really understand what the rhythm is. There actually is one, the steps and the counts actually matter. So with this drill I'm getting ready to give you, which is weird, it's just only to achieve one thing, what is the basic rhythm? So what we're gonna do for now, keep in mind you'll never do this once you start dancing country swing, this is only for the rhythm. We're gonna step to the side and we're gonna do a small rock step. We're gonna step to the side and rock step. So the count will be slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. You can also count it as one and two. So you can count it as one and two, three and four, whichever way you choose to count that. That is going to be your basic rhythm across the board. Now, the reason why we're asking you to do this is because we want your body to feel that rhythm. Keep in mind, we're gonna get into country swing, the actual steps and the dancing stuff in a minute, but this has to be present. Now, if, you, if we dance this stuff again and you watch that rhythm, you would have one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. That rhythm is present. Now, we gotta talk about another thing. We mentioned earlier that sometimes people are teaching just these movements and stuff. Those movements are, are present, like in what we're doing, they just, the reason why you have to have a rhythm is so that you and your partner stay in sync with each other. Yep. Staying in sync with each other is even more important than dancing to music. We do want you dancing to music. There's a metronome that happens with the music and that is how you guys dance to the music. But more importantly than that, if you are out of sync with each other, you can't dance, you're just gonna bump into each other and beat each other right, up, each okay? Other. So we have to have a rhythm. Now, if you watch country swing dancers dance, you're actually gonna see this. Maybe you've never thought about this step, rock step, step, rock step, but it's there, you're gonna see it. Now, if you watch country swing dancers dance, you're going to see that present but no one's talked about it up to this point. So this completely changes everything about the way that we look at this dance, okay? But it is a step, rock, step. The biggest thing is, is there's a rock step on opposite feet. So you have a step and we rock with one foot and then we step and then we rock with the other, okay? So if you watch this again, we're stepping, we're rocking with one foot and then we rock with the other and then we rock with the other. It's just alternating between those rock steps. That's gonna be present. We're gonna talk about why that is and why that is that way. Because the other side of the coin is you have a lot of people teaching what's called single time East Coast swing or what's called push pull swing, which has four steps. This has three on one side, three on the other. So if you watch single time swing, it's step, step, and it always rocks with that same foot. 
This is not country swing dancing. No. This is single time East Coast swing dancing. They're different dances. That's like trying to call <laughs> two step and waltz the same dance because they're both dancing country music. They're it's different the dances completely all together. Okay, so push pull swing would have a step, step, and a rock step. It is still four steps. But if you watch country swing, it has one, two, three, one, two, three. It's step with one foot, rock with the opposite. That is your basic core of, of country swing, okay? So let's take this to the next level and kind of explain how this works. Okay, so I'm gonna hit you with a little dance theory real quick. And for those of you who just want to like, just show me some spins, this might not be fun to learn, but you need to learn anyways if you want to do the cool spins, all right? So um, everything ends in a rock. Now, the reason why we are actually rocking with one foot and then the opposite is because of the direction of the turns. And I'm gonna give you an example of this. If Rose were here and I were to send her outwards, her rotation's to the right and she can end with that rock step. Now, if she's over on this side, she would rock on that foot. When you're dancing country swing, you typically will have her turning one direction and then turning the other, okay? So if you watch this again, like if we're here in this position, when she does her turn, what's happening is she's turning to the left. She's turning to the left to finish on that rock step on that side. Now, when she comes around, she's turning this way, which means that she should finish on the rock step on the opposite side. Now, I say rock step. It technically is a rock step. For those of you who know, uh, are comfortable doing rock steps and other dances like East Coast Swing. Yeah. But we kind of think of it more as, instead of a rock step as a stop. It's kind of like a stop sign. It's kind of like if my weight is going this direction or my momentum's going here, I use that foot to stop that momentum. Now, if my rotation were going this way and I didn't put that foot down, there's no way to stop. So we actually have this, like she's turning, and she uses that foot kind of to stop her momentum from going, and then she can go the other way. This is the way that country swing works, okay? Now, I said the rhythm is one and two, three and four, or slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, but that's just the starting point, because I can totally, like I could turn her this direction as many times as I wanted, but she still ends up rocking on that opposite foot, which is on that side. Now that could happen in either direction, but that's why you have a rock step or a stop on one side and then the other. So if you watch this again, we're dancing, I rock with one foot and then I rock with the other. Her body's turning this way, then she rocks. Her body's turning that way and then she rocks. Her body's turning that way. It's always the foot that actually creates that break or that stop. Without that, um, without like always doing the rock step on one foot like an East Coast swing or single time swing or hustle or something like that, it's different. It changes the complete structure of the dance. And that is not country swing. Completely different dance. So stop teaching that. Stop yeah. dancing that yeah. and calling it country swing. Okay, so um, again, your rhythm is one and two, three and four, or slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. But you can also syncopate that. So if we're dancing this, I can send her for this turn for one turn. Or if I want to dance that again, I can send her for multiple turns and she still rocks on that same foot, okay? Hopefully this is making sense, but let me give you a couple of these patterns. Okay, so let's back it up just a little bit. In the beginning, I told you to do this weird little step, rock, step, step, rock, step thing. That is not country swing. Again, that was just that. designed to give you guys an idea of the rhythm of what we're shooting for, like the way it should feel and how that is attached to music. Because again, it has to be attached to music. So now we're gonna break down some of the basic steps. Now there's not the basic step. There's nothing you could say, this is the country swing basic step. But there are some movements that are most common, the ones that are kind of like, I do this thing until I do other things. And that's some of the stuff that we're gonna be covering now, okay? So again, so if we're in this two hand hold, the first thing we wanna do is think about the rhythm of step, rock step, or slow, quick, quick, one and two, whichever way you wanna count that. But I'm gonna draw her in to me as we both step. I'm stepping with my left foot, she's gonna step with the right step right foot. I'm going to bring her towards me as I step to the side. So as I'm bringing her towards me, I'm stepping to the side and I'm actually separating my arms. Once I've separated my arms, then I'm going to bring the hands down, rotate her, and we both rock with that opposite foot. So I'm rocking with my right foot. She's rocking with her left. The way that we're going to think about the patterns beyond this is kind of a she goes, he goes. She has her half and he has his half. Now, it's not always that case. He doesn't always turn or something on his half, but if he's gonna turn, it's usually on his half, and if she's gonna turn, it's usually on her half, okay? So what we have is we start this with her half. This is her half. Now it's his turn. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna take his right hand, he's gonna turn to his left, and he's gonna step under. That's his half, and then we drop that hand and pick it up and rock step. Now it's gonna be her half so that she turns and rock step and then he can turn again and we can repeat this over and over these alternating turns. So it's kind of like he goes, she goes. Again, we only have one step, rock step, one step, 
rock step. That's really important to maintain the rhythm. Now, again, like I said earlier, when you get to advanced levels, you can spin her multiple times as long as you end up on that rock step. The count just syncopates from there, okay? Lots of variations, lots of things to do, but what you're gonna find now, if you go back and you finish watching this video, you go online, you watch some, like whether it's on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, or whatever, and you watch some of the best country swing dancers, you're gonna find this in there. Right. Does it mean they always do it? No, sometimes they just kind of dance. They just kind of walk around and they do things like this, but eventually they come out with a rock step, okay? That rock step is kind of the reset before the next thing. So in that same pattern we just showed you, the steps are just step, rock, step. You know, notice each time when we do this, we're just stepping and rocking with the opposite foot. Rock, step, step, rock, step. Guys, with the upper body, we really want to avoid this whole push and pull concept. So we're not actually going to push her away and we're not going to take her arms and pull them towards us. We can bring her towards us by separating the arms. So if she's standing here like this, if I separate my arms, it draws her in. And if I bring them back together, it gives her some space. So that's the idea of we want, what we want. So we're gonna step by separating the arms and then we're gonna rotate our shoulders as we bring the hands back together for that rock step. Now from here, when I bring this hand up, it's my turn to turn. I'm actually gonna bring the hand up and my palm has to face me. So what's happening is I'm gonna be turning to my left. I'm gonna take my left palm, it's fa my, sorry, my right palm facing me, and I'm just basically bringing that over my head. If you watch my left hand, I'm gonna bring it to my waist, I'm gonna release it, and then catch it again on the opposite side. Now from here, I'm actually gonna be having my palm facing her for her turn. My fingertips need to be pointed inwards because she's gonna be turning that way. So I bring that over her head, bring it back down, releasing that hand, catching again, and then we can just repeat that process as many times as we want until she says, please stop, please do something else, this is getting boring. Guys, like we said before, we are so excited about adding country swing into the mix of country dance. It is a newer dance, but it's growing so, so fast right now. So many people do it. There's certain areas of the country that like everybody's just doing that. So it is not going away. So we're excited to add that into the repertoire. Did I say Don't that? Don't fight it. Did I say that right? <laughs> okay. So, so but anyways, uh, for a further breakdown, if you guys want more instruction on these ideas, these concepts, just go to xdance.com. We'll give you a free month. There's several country swing videos in there. We're actually adding more if you want to learn more patterns, but get a free month of that. Just go to xdance.com. Com. But by the way, if you learn anything from this video, there is a basic rhythm. Yep. There is a basic concept and step. It is not just Turner and Dipper, Turner and Dipper. Simple. Okay. And also, it is not East Coast swing. Okay. <laughs> Completely different things. We want to know what Don't you guys think, thing. especially for those of you who do country swing. We want to hear your ideas, your concept, your thoughts on this new way. So comment down below. Has this been helpful? Did it clarify things for you? Or do you just completely disagree? Like, we, like we actually want to know. Yeah. So, but thank you guys so much for watching. And then we'll see you guys next time. You know what's awesome about watching this video is now you can tell all your friends you're swingers. <laughs> <laughs> if you want That's more, if you want to check out X-Dance, go right here. That's xdance.com. Down here at the bottom, there's another video here on YouTube. That one's pretty awesome too. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.